experience. When she was eight and I was ten, but we didn't have two piano at home. We could only afford to have one. And we hate sharing the keyboard together, so we were like hitting each other. And we hated that so much that mom was absolutely despair. Because that was a big dream, that to have two daughters, two pianists, and playing together. And when she saw that, she said, all right, let's finish. They will never play together. <laughs> and he came back later on. <laughs> Of course, there had been growing pains and sibling rivalry, but they made their mother's dream come true. <laughs> Katja and Marielle Lebeck began playing piano when Katja was five, and Marielle was three, in a small town on the southwestern coast of France. Their mother was their first teacher. They left home when Marielle was 13 and Katja was 15 to study at the Paris Conservatoire. Katja, the elder sister, remembers an inauspicious beginning. So you can imagine coming from Provence, that's what we were coming from, and arriving in Paris, such a great city, I mean, such a huge city. We were really lost, you know. And people, they weren't so tender with us, you know, laughing about our accent and about all those kind of things. And, uh, and I, of course, it was very brutal, because then we arrived in... The sisters persevered, and each was awarded a first prize in the conservatory's annual competition. But they did decide to protect each other and pursue their careers together. Marielle, the younger sister, remembers the decision they made 17 years ago. In fact, I think we decide that because we love to be together. Just we enjoy to be together, to travel together, and, and not to be alone. So in fact, when we got the first prize in, in Paris, we just decided to, just to play duet, really to, to stay together, not because of the beauty of the repertoire, <laughs> because we didn't know. They discovered and enhanced a beautiful repertoire from Mozart and Brahms to the contemporary masters, and then to George Gershwin. Katja and Marielle Lebeck made a recording of Rhapsody in Blue, which attracted George Gershwin's brother, Ira. A few years ago, the two women had a memorable meeting with him in his California home. No, I mean, we spent it, uh, I'm too shy to say, <laughs> but we spent a beautiful day. And that was beautiful, because suddenly it was like to go in the house with all the memory, I mean, the piano there, all the manuscript, all the own paintings, because George and Ira loved to paint, and it was so touching, really. At first, I think it was so lucky, I mean, to be able to, to meet Ara before he died, that was beautiful. Also, he, he gave us this beautiful gift that he gave us uh, the score of an American in Paris, the original score. It was, uh, it was written for two piano with some extra music. It was not in the orchestral version. And I, I couldn't believe it, the, the day I got the score, I mean, that was really beautiful. And so this new version of An American in Paris, this music which celebrates the sights and sounds of that city, is touring American cities with two French pianists. The premiere was at the Library of Congress in Washington. Just, 
Katja and Marielle Lebeck's interpretation of the music of George Gershwin, both in performance and on recordings, has brought them international acclaim. Their exuberant personalities and unconventional style has added to their popular appeal. But their classical training and brilliant technique make them equally at home in the traditional concert hall. This night, they will play with one of the masters, Seiji Ozawa and the Boston Symphony. Uh, what I like is she understands all kind of music, really. She's very fast, and she knows exactly what she wants to do. And Katya, what do you most admire about your sister's playing? I would say, uh, like, the, this beautiful sound, natural, and, uh, and this tone of color, and uh, exp expression, musical expression. And very interior. But she's not, uh, she never show off. Hmm. I love that. And I think it's a beautiful feeling to share the music you like with the people you like. Sometimes that means performing without each other. Here, Marielle performs Brahms with cellist Yo-Yo Ma and clarinetist Tony Pei on French television. other interest is jazz. Here she performs with jazz composer John McLaughlin. You're tremendously close to each other, but if something happened in your lives in which one of you said, I'm not interested in playing, would I, each of you survive fine without the other musically? We don't know. I, I'm very bad in projecting myself in any kind of future. I'm just conscious of what happened today, and I feel good. We're together, we play good music, and uh, I think it would be painful. But I think when you love each other, you have to understand sometimes we could need something else. That doesn't mean forever. Maybe she would go to teaching soon. 